Welcome back again, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitar is coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri, and I am so pleased about the very important guitar I have to show you folks today. This, again, comes from Dana Bourgeois, and uh, this is a OMC soloist model from Dana, but this is not just any soloist. This is actually the prototype for the 30th anniversary soloist guitars that will be released a little later in the year. Not to be confused with last year's 40th anniversary overall for bourgeois guitars, Dana has actually been building the OMC or OM Cutaway model, uh, soloist model, for about 30 years now. And uh, it's a design that uh, really had a lot of other people looking at cutaway designs, specifically on orchestra models. Dana has done, I think, one of the finest jobs in designing a cutaway for an orchestra model that is uh, non-intrusive to the inherent tone of a nice OM. It's also a very handsome uh, shape and size as well, very comfortable getting you up to the upper registers there beyond the 12th and 14th fret very efficiently. Uh, this guitar I actually had the pleasure of seeing while it was in production. I saw just the body of the guitar a few months ago when I was in Maine visiting Bourgeois, and I saw the wild figure to the woods and knew that it was something I had to have in our store, and I'm very pleased that it happened to turn out that way. You can see the top of this guitar is indeed a very three-dimensional and wildly figured bear claw German spruce top. It's got a very tight grain to the top, but incredibly consistent and very deep looking bear claw figuring all throughout the top of the guitar. Really a one of a kind top here. The body itself in typical soloist fashion is a dark rosewood Zeracote binding on just the body. There's some nice black, white and black and maple purfling on the top of the guitar as well as the rosette there. There's no pick guard on the soloist models typically. Back and sides of this guitar are a truly incredible set of highly figured master grade Coco Bolo, an incredibly dramatic set of wood here with very dark rich reds and just a hint of sapwood right in the center of the back there. And of course the uh, multi-tonal DB signature back strip going right down the center of the back there as well. This has the usual modified V profile neck. It's an inch and three quarter at the nut, and it's two and five sixteenth spacing down here on the ebony pyramid bridge. And the pyramid bridge has the cool little triangular pyramid inlays that match the inlay on the back of the heel cap on the rear side of the guitar. So a nice kind of uh, coordination there with all the inlays. We've got a wonderful looking Zeracote headstock veneer all the way up on the headstock with the Bourgeois logo inlaid all the way up top there. Those are gold Waverly tuning machines with the black ebony buttons tying in with that black ebony fingerboard as well as the bridge down here as well. This is a fully Adirondack braced guitar that's been tap tuned and scalloped by Dana himself. And I've got to say uh, the the tone wood combination as well as the bracing job of this guitar give it an incredibly magnificent voice. A wonderful long and strong sustain with huge overtones out of it. It's a rather dramatic sounding guitar, as dramatic sounding as it looks actually, which is appropriate. So let's go take a listen to this beauty now. <laughs> 